Assalamu alaikum everyone. In our previous videos, we have talked about the fetal lie, fetal presentation, fetal attitude. In this video, we will talk about its position, the normal fetal position and abnormal fetal position that is called malposition. Now, in order to understand the fetal position, you should know that, that what is the denominator. As we know that the normal presenting part is vertex. In my previous video, I have talked in detail about the presenting part. The link of that video is present in the description box. Now, as we know that the normal presenting part is vertex, if during labor you do vaginal examination and you feel that there is a vertex presentation, then you should know its position. In order to tell the position of the presenting part, first of all, you have to choose a bony landmark. In case of the vertex presentation, you will choose the occiput. Either it is towards the anterior side of the pelvis or it is towards the posterior side of the pelvis. So what is denominator? The denominator is a bony landmark on the presenting part used to denote the position. So first of all, we will talk that what is normal fetal position. In simple words, if we divide the maternal pelvis in two parts, this is the posterior part and this is the anterior part. First of all, we have to tell the presenting part. If the presenting part is vertex, then you will choose the occiput. And if this occiput is towards the anterior side of the pelvis, we will say that it is a normal position. That is occiput anterior. So one by one. First of all, you should know that if fetal occiput is towards the anterior side of maternal pelvis, it is called occiput anterior. If occiput is present, directly behind the pubic symphysis, we say that it is direct occiput anterior and if this occiput is present towards the anterior side of the pelvis but is slightly away from the center in such a way that the occiput is slightly towards the maternal right side. So this is the maternal right side it will call as right occipital anterior. If occiput is towards the anterior side of the pelvis, but it's slightly away from the center in such a way that the occiput is slightly towards the left side of the mother, it is called left occipital anterior. So how easy it is. So what is normal fetal position? The normal fetal position can be occipital anterior, or the direct occipital anterior or it can be right occipital anterior and the left occipital anterior so if in oski station the examiner asks you the normal fetal positions you should know these three other than these fetal positions all other fetal positions are abnormal so now we will talk about that what is malposition as this is the right side of maternal pelvis this is the left side of maternal pelvis. This is the anterior side of maternal pelvis. This is the posterior side of the maternal pelvis. If occiput is towards the anterior, it is a normal fetal position. If it is towards the posterior side of the maternal pelvis, it is called occipital posterior. But if it is halfway between the anterior and the posterior, it is called occiput transverse. Now, if occiput is directly behind the maternal sacrum, it is called occiput posterior or direct occiput posterior. Now, in right occipital posterior position, the occiput is slightly away from the center. I mean, occiput is behind the right sacroiliac joint. So in right occipital posterior position, the fetal occiput is slightly towards the right side. 
in left occipital posterior position the occiput is towards the posterior side of the pelvis in such a way that the occiput lies directly behind the left sacroiliac joint in left occipital posterior position the occiput is slightly towards the left side of the mother so direct occipital posterior left occipital posterior right occipital posterior are the male positions that will cause the prolonged labor or the obstructed labor now if occiput is half way between the posterior and anterior it is called occiput transverse in right occipital transverse the occiput is half way between the posterior and anterior position with occiput towards the right side of the mother in left occipital transverse position first the occiput is half way between the posterior and anterior position with the occiput towards the left side of the maternal pelvis so in a nutshell occipital anterior or the direct occipital anterior right occipital anterior left occipital anterior are the normal fetal positions while occipital posterior left occipital posterior right occipital posterior right occipital transverse left occipital transverse these all are the male positions now the test time if you have watched my previous videos in that i have talked about the fetal lie the fetal presentation fetal attitude and in my this video i have talked about the fetal position so first watch them then you have to answer me the following questions the image is given you have to tell me that what is fetal lie in this image what is its presentation what is the fetal attitude and what is the fetal position you have to write the answers and post it in the comment box thanks for watching